Hey friends, welcome to my video. Thanks for clicking on my thumbnail. Glad you're here with that like team. Now today, friends, I am here to show you a clip from my album playthrough series over my Patreon where for $5 a month, I first checked out this entire Crystal Eyes album. Yo, aesthetic was a vibe, but speaking of aesthetics, yo, they really encapsulated this Y2K vibe so well that there might as well just be called Y2K. Like, bro, they had it going. Like, you know, like when NCT flipped candy, right and it was like that y2k vibe they remixed that old song brought it into new light and a new yeah they've essentially done that for this album like the aesthetic and like i normally am not the biggest fan sometimes well i'm not normally but there's times when i'm not the biggest fan or i say "Ooh, songs from that era sound very dated and aged like spoiled milk but you know what this isn't one of those cases they've made this sound really good and i really like it and touch was just a bright like bro such a good example of that the verses i'm like do i like this that much i don't know but then when the chorus comes in yo it's all about catchy melodies they really have done a great job at encapsulating like that time period in music where the chorus had to be really catchy and really good so that you want to listen again it's not even about repetitiveness a lot of times with courses these days it's about getting something stuck in your head and saying something a lot like but now like back then it was all about having really good melodies and things that you just can't get out of your ear and you just want to sing along want to dance along and i really felt that energy through touch so i need to show you my reaction for it so like i said for five dollars a month if we want to go see the rest of my album and my reaction to every 100 plus album that i've checked out over on my patreon you can but yeah with all that being said another the way i just want to show my reaction to this so let's get into it Talk is like uh I'll give it a 9.1. And we'll see where we go from there with the rest of this. That is a adorable picture of Soyeon. I cannot even lie to you. Wow. Uh we'll see where we go from there. Right now, I'm basing it 9.1. We'll see what happens. Uh great way to start. I'm having a good time. Let's move on. This is Touch by Triple S Cray. 3, 2, 1, click play. They're on their two hundred. They're two thousand. I can't speak. They're on their two thousand one. NCT redid Candy. This give me those vibes. Follow me. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> Love together. Wait, I like this a lot. Precious eyes, crystal eyes, you could even say. She kills that part every time. Didn't you do that part last time? <laughs> Oh. 
Ooh, okay. This is such like a like okay, they've literally just taken this sound from like this time period. It's got the same chord progressions, the same uh, percussion, the same like synths and everything. It's all this like stock stuff. And uh, this has been a thing that I've seen lots of people do over the last, I don't even know how long, but for a while now people have been like taking that, like, take they take certain sound time, they take like, what am I trying to say? Take certain time periods in music and they just redo them, but try to do it like to the T with very minimal like modern elements added other than like, of course it sounds a bit more modern and the mixing and all that and everything sounds more like professional than it. I mean, back then it sounded as good as it could for the time, but now, you know, there's ways to make things sound more clear and whatnot in like music editing. But anyways, uh, yeah, this sounds very much like I said, it reminds me of like when NCT redid candy and it's like, it's got that type of sound, like the same percussion style, all that sort of stuff, you know? So I'm vibing. Oh, key change. That's how you know it's one of them songs. I had to have a key change. Yeah. Hey, they're really great embracing it. Duo over the top is going crazy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 9.5. That one's good. Now, that one's catchy. Okay. Now, there's some songs that if you actually legitimately play me songs from like 2001 and that like era of music, I, I'm not going to like too many. I mean, 50% the, the, uh, of them I'm probably going to dislike. I'm going to be like, it just sounds dated now. Like a lot of songs from that era for me personally did not age well. <laughs> I'm like, these don't sound the best. Okay, even some stuff like from when I was like growing up and I'm like, I look back on it and I'm like, uh, this did just, did, did, whoa. <laughs> this has aged horribly, like spoiled milk. But you know what? It's fine because sometimes you can make things that are supposed to sound like those eras, supposed to sound older, like 20, 30 years ago. And it's like, you can do it in a more modern twisty way and it can actually come off sounding really good. Now there's some people that have tried to go throw back, like throwback sounds like that, that I'm not a fan of. Or like when we had that neutral retro trend in K-pop a few years ago, some of those songs, that's going back to like the eighties and whatnot. But like some of those I didn't like, but like with this, I don't know. They did it. It sounded really good. I love the melodies they actually implemented into the chorus. Like, um, like songs like Candy, for instance, are really popular because they have such a catchy, such a good melody or, or, or stuff like, like White by Finkel. Like, you know, there's the catchy melodies it's stuck in your head. And the reason the songs are so popular, like this had a nice melody, like they've succeeded. They were like, we're on to one. Let's make it. And like, I like what the company did musically here. This was really good. 9.5. I like this better than the title track. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> All right. So like I said, Touch by Cray, Crystal Eyes Aesthetic, Triple S, yes. Plus KR, Korea, all of it. I caught the vibe. I enjoyed the song. So y'all let me know what y'all thought of this song below. Bro, the very next song, Hide and Seek, also had these vibes. And I was like struggling to decide which one I liked more. I think I liked the chorus of Touch more, but I liked the overall energy of Hide and Seek more. And I think I edged out the melody that I prefer in touch to this so i picked this one as my favorite it was really close so if you want to go see my reaction to hide and seek like i said that's down in the description on my patreon but hey look with all that being said and all that out the way i really enjoyed this y'all let me know what y'all thought of this song and what you thought of this album down below you can feel free to tell me your favorite songs or inform me about some more things about triple s if you just want to you know teach me about triple s because i don't know that much i just like my music but um with that being said friends that's gonna do it for me today i hope you yes you have a good day morning or night whatever time it is for you and wherever you are in the world with that being said peace Stan Triple S Cray Crystal Eyes Aesthetic Plus Plus Crystal K R I E Capital. Yes, stand them. Goodbye. <laughs>